ever pondered about the lifespan of the planets in our solar system, how long do they have before they cease to exist as we know them? Planets, much like living entities, have lifespans. Some endure for billions of years, others less so. The inner planets of our solar system, Mercury, Venus and Earth, are no exception. Their existence is finite and they are destined to face their twilight era. What determines their lifespan, you might ask, it's primarily our very own Sun. As the central star of our solar system, the Sun's life cycle is intertwined with that of the planets revolving around it. Its transformation over time, from a yellow dwarf star to a swelling red giant, will drastically alter the conditions of these inner planets. The Sun's increasing luminosity will lead to harsher environments, eventually turning these planets uninhabitable, and in due time, possibly even destroying them. Our inner planets, including our own Earth, have a ticking clock, one that is intricately tied to the life cycle of our Sun. The fate of our inner planets lies in the hands of our Sun, which is on a path of transformation. Right now, our Sun is in its main sequence stage, the most stable period of its life. It's been there for about four and a half billion years, burning hydrogen into helium in its core. This nuclear fusion process releases energy, which we feel on Earth as heat and light. The Sun's gravity pulls inward, but the pressure from nuclear fusion pushes outward. These opposing forces establish a delicate balance, keeping the Sun stable, However, this stability can't last forever. As the Sun burns through its hydrogen, helium accumulates in the core. When there's too much helium, the core contracts and heats up. This extra heat pushes the outer layers of the Sun outward, causing our star to expand. It's at this point that the Sun begins its transformation into a red giant. The red giant stage is a natural part of stellar evolution, a phase in the life cycle of stars that have roughly the same mass as our Sun. During this phase, the Sun will grow so large it could reach as far as Earth's orbit. As it expands, its surface temperature decreases, causing it to glow red. But before you start panicking, let's put this into perspective. This won't happen for another five billion years or so. That's a lot longer than humans have been around, and who knows what the state of our planet, let alone our solar system, will be by then. Nonetheless, it's fascinating to think about the cosmic drama unfolding right in our celestial backyard. The Sun's transformation into a red giant is a testament to the majestic and dynamic nature of the universe. It's a reminder of the constant change and evolution happening on scales much larger than our human lives. As the Sun swells to become a red giant, things are about to get hot for the inner planets. The Sun's transformation into a red giant will have profound effects on the inner planets, including our own Earth. As the Sun swells and its luminosity intensifies, the inner planets will be subjected to conditions that are far from hospitable. This increased brightness and heat will result in a surge of temperatures, making Mercury, Venus and Earth progressively uninhabitable. Imagine the heat of a typical summer day, then multiply it by a thousand or even a million. Yes, it's that drastic. The oceans, once teeming with life, will evaporate into space, leaving behind a barren, scorched landscape. The atmosphere, our protective shield, will be stripped away, leaving the surface exposed to harmful cosmic radiation. Mercury, being the closest to the Sun, will be the first to feel the full force of the Sun's transformation. It's likely that this tiny planet will simply be engulfed by the Sun's outer layers, disappearing into the fiery moor of the Red Giant. Venus, our neighbouring planet, often referred to as Earth's sister, will meet a similar fate. Its dense atmosphere, already a hothouse of carbon dioxide, will heat up even further, eventually causing the planet to melt and vaporise. And then comes Earth, our blue planet, our home. The increased solar radiation will make the surface uninhabitable long before the Sun's outer layers reach us. The Earth will be scorched, its water evaporated, its life extinguished. It's a grim picture indeed, but before you lose all hope, remember this is an event that's not due for a few thousand million years. It's a reminder of the finite nature of things, even celestial bodies as seemingly eternal as planets and stars. The transformation of our Sun into a red giant marks the end of the line for the inner planets. But it's also a testament to the ever-evolving dynamic nature of our universe. The death of a star, tragic as it may be, paves the way for new beginnings, for new stars to be born, for life to find a way.
The countdown for our inner planets has begun, and it's all thanks to our sun's transformation. The sun, the heart of our solar system, is currently a middle-aged star, but it won't stay that way forever. Over the next five billion years or so, it will undergo a series of dramatic changes. It will exhaust its hydrogen fuel and expand into a red giant, a phase in a star's life cycle marked by increased luminosity and a swollen size. During this phase, the sun's luminosity will increase so much that it will be unbearable for the inner planets. Mercury, Venus and our very own Earth will be under the direct and harsh impact of this transformation. As the sun grows, its outer layers will reach out to these planets, subjecting them to intense heat and radiation. It's a future that's hard to fathom, yet it's a scientific reality we must acknowledge. So, when are these events likely to happen? Well, we're talking about a timeline of a few thousand million years. It's an immense timescale that's hard to comprehend, and yet, in the grand scheme of the universe, it's like the blink of an eye. What does this mean for the future of our solar system? In simple terms, it signifies the end of the world as we know it. The inner planets, once bustling with activity, will be mere remnants of their former selves. This future might seem bleak, but it's a natural part of the cosmic cycle. Stars are born, they live and they die, leaving behind a legacy that paves the way for new celestial bodies to take their place. In the end, our sun's transformation serves as a stark reminder of our place in the universe. We are a part of a cosmic dance, a dance that's ever-changing and full of surprises. The life of our inner planets as we know it is finite, a sobering reminder of the transient nature of the universe we inhabit.